is from Kabul News, right? The Kabul. And let's see what they have there. Hmm? Nigeria owns World Bank, uh, World Bank, IMF, AFDB, 31.98 billion dollars. These three financial institutions I mentioned now, Nigeria is owing them 31.98, just call it approximately 32 billion dollars, 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 not Naira, not uh, CDs, not uh, rupee, you know, this one is dollars. Nigeria is owing uh, uh, um, World Bank, IMF, uh, IMF is International Monetary Fund, AFD, uh, B, call it 32 billion dollars zoological republic is owing and these are money borrowed during the time of buhari because um, when buhari take over the debts upon zoo is less than 30 billion dollars with an increase with a with a you know, with a huge reserve that zoo have us at that time people who were managing the zoological republic have a bit interest and pity for the zoo but the destruct uh, um, the, the the destroyer itself came in and they are finishing the game you know let's hear um what they said the debt management office DMO says Nigeria took loan worth of 31.98 billion dollar approximately 32 billion dollar from World Bank Group International Monetary Fund IMF African Development Bank Group and others as of September 2020 this 31 or approximately 32 billion dollars was just what you collected within September 2020 Tell me what have you done with it? Nothing. Because as you are hearing all this money, if you have brain, if you are not cow that being reared by the full anise, you will just be asking, what did they do with it? You check every state. This time is an internet. Uh, the, um, uh, um, we are on internet um, uh, um, uh, 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 era. You just take your buy 1,000 naira that are put in your phone. Google. Check the whole state infrastructures that are being constructed new or going on. You know, I know that sometimes they will put pictures or whatever, but you will check what is going on or what you can be able to find. Nothing. 32, approximately 32 billion dollars that the government of late General Muhammad Buhari, GCON, and whatever nonsense they have given to him, borrowed, borrowed as at September 2020. This one is what he collected. And what did they do with it? We don't know. They will only tell you that they pay salary. And it, even the salary we had that some people have not even received salary for two years in Cross River State. You know, they will tell you that they are paying salaries. And even some of them are trying to cut off pension now and whatever. But they borrowed this money. They borrowed this money. Where is the money? What did they do with it? Nothing. They are selling your future. Just as Oju Zokalo, when he was the governor of Abia State, he stole your destiny. Those things they are preaching to you in church, that any power that is holding your destiny, Holy Ghost fire, you don't need to disturb, pray, disturb, shine. You see the, when you see the, your excellence, you kill, you all him. You, he went Mabupi, because he is the one holding your destiny. Because as the former governor of a state, he took your destiny of 50 years and he put it in your pocket. You know, just as Rocha Sokorochanam, just as Rocha Sokorocha stole the destiny of young e, 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 e Molites of um, not less than not less than 60 years to come. You know, that is what he stole and put it in his pocket. That is what Rochas did. You know, if you see somebody like Theo Dodge, Theo Dodge stole like 40 or 50 years destiny. Can add it with the 60 years of that of uh, Ojo Zokal, it could be 100 or 120 years of destiny they have stolen. So when you see them, that is what will be the Holy Ghost. You will be binding. You don't need the spiritual on that one. You need the physical. You take a Holy Ghost gun or knife. You cut him, you destroy. That is the only way you regain your destiny back. I'm telling you the gospel truth. That is the only way. But you may say it as a joke or whatever is up to you. But I'm telling you the gospel truth. You know, 
Your destiny has been, they have, they have swallowed your destiny. You know, they have swallowed your destiny and pocketed it. These people, this money was borrowed by the federal government of the Zoological Republic of Nigeria as at September, uh, 30th September 2020. Dep okay, let's stay here the news. This contained in September 30th 2020 debt stock reported recently released by DMO. According to the report, Nigeria has an outstanding uh, outstanding of $10.7 billion loan to be paid to the International Development Association, IDA, and International Bank for um, Reconstruction and Development, IBRD, organization under the World uh, Bank Group. All of them are the same thing. They just have branches, branches, all these uh, monetary institutions, all these uh, financial institutions. You know, these are the way they break this one, call it a different name. They, they just use it to target your economy. You, the African people, you don't know how to manage all this money. You go and borrow. You know, they would like to put you into debt so that you will be going down and going down and going down. But for them, they manufacture nothing. Go to Europe. They are manufacturing nothing, but the economy is strong. Because this economy is not original it's not organic it's inorganic it's artificial so you can just walk it online you know if you want to destroy the economy now just off electricity if you offer electricity for the next 60 minutes you know everything will crash so these things are where you bought the foolish full and brain governor you remember when they down it was his name dan Guji want to go to is it china to borrow 300 billion or whatever for uh, for kind of state oh, that has nothing that has nothing you know the full and brain will just rush in to come and borrow all this is if you are living in that's what sometimes you see a, 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 a small bill of paper they will just put it on your on your post bill you know tell you that uh, there is financial loan you can loan this this that too. you think that that thing is um is to help you if you mistakenly accept that loan you are finished maybe in the next 10 years you have never paid it for, you have never come out of it this things are trap as it is in the small level now so it there for high level and the zoo fulani are rushing into because they know that the zoo cannot and the fulani have seen the biafran people the Igbo people as their slave workaholics you know their land is blessed the people are blessed maybe if the thing didn't work we can sell one of the land you know give them uh, uh, one of the state to manage for the next hundred years, you know, as we are coming out of the contraption of uh, Lord Lugard of um, 100 years amalgamation for tests, it's just a test. They can give some particular state, even our so called Niger Delta people, brothers that will tell you that they a Delta Niger. They can hand you over to China, say China handle you <laughs> for another 100. Fulani don't care, he's not into Fulani. All these groups you see, they are mentioned in our group that they have just they are one but in different form to make sure that they loan you money from this they'll tell this one is for agriculture this one is for construction of road and what they are the same thing the same uh, uh, uh what do you call it the same interest they will impound on you and you won't be able to come out of it you must understand this game you won't be able to come out of the loan and you will remain a slave paying for it forever and ever these are i'm talking for the people who have brain who can reason some of the developing country who want to develop they'll be developing and be paying these bills this uh, interest to this uh, western wealth but for uh, uh, a useless country like nigeria they don't have any full and the other thing is what are they going to eat now that's what i think you must know that you know they don't, they don't care they are ready africa is even ready to sell some part of african land now to the china in order to have physical cash you know but when you begin to talk about our brain some some foolish idiot will tell you is a pan-african non, non treat the treat the treat the sickness inside before you begin to project whatever treat the sickness inside why would we go and be borrowing all this money whereby we have people who can make this money to come out and we take it to the people whereby we know the dangers 
But no problem, it's good they borrow more and more because the zoo must come to an end. Even when zoo end and it been, the, the, the debts have been shared, we know we Biafans will have our own portion. As our leader said in one of these broadcasts, we will pay it, no problem, it's good, uh, you know. Uh, um, uh, one of the men, one of the guy that paid uh, his uh, slavery money, is he not an Igbo man from Olo? I have forgotten his name. I read the article some time ago, you know. By the time slave world, we are freed in the, in, in the Western world, you know, the guy said that f the place I came from, I read that article about, uh, uh, about should be about uh, 20 years ago now. Somebody brought that in in a piece, in a particular audition, and I read it. The guy said um, uh, that he's an Igbo person, that uh, slavery is not good, that he must pay. He must pay. He counted money he worked for. He gave to his master that freed them after they have freed. He said, no, he want to free himself officially. You know, he understand the spiritual, uh, uh, um, the, 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 the spiritual uh, uh, effect of being a slave. So he have to, it's like uh, offering a sacrifice to redeem himself. You know, so whatever, whenever uh, um, uh, the, the, the zoo falls, we will have our own portion and we will pay it as a slave money. But, well, then we'll be free completely because that one is nothing. But we are telling you that the zoo is coming to an end. You know, so all these um, uh, um, names that I have been mentioning here, uh, we need to understand them very well. This one said that it is the International Development Association (IDA). The other one said that it is the International Bank for Reconstruction and the development organization. The other one said that is International Monetary Fund and all those. This things is just like uh, understand all this financial institution is just like uh, the, the in the zoo. You have Meiti Allah but you now have um, you have Boko Haram, you have Iswap, you have Banditri, you have Hesmen, you have this one. But if you want to, if you want to negotiate, Meiti Allah will pop out. But attack, it can be banditry, it can be uh, um, uh, Hesmen, it can be uh, uh, Iswap, it can be Boko Haram, you know, that is how this thing, IMF is there, then all these ones are under, you know, uh, they, they know how they are working the thing, just, if you want to understand this thing very well, you call me to Allah and ask me to Allah, how do you regulate these uh, seven terror groups that are under you? We are just trying to analyze things to give you more understanding. Let's continue. The country also owns four international lenders, namely the Arab Bank for Economic um, Development in Africa, B-A-D-E-A, -E Islamic Development Bank, IDB, International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, and the European Development Fund, EDF, uh, $298.12 million. This is another group of people that the zoo is owing. Among all this 31 of approximately $32 billion is just breaking it into pieces for you to see the number of people that the zoo borrowed this money just within it, a small time, not too far, not the old one, because at the end of the day, we will not give you the total money the zoo is owing. Then you now see the consequences, how it's going to be upon the zoological republic. Just keep on following what we are doing. So you see the names of the banks that the zoo have borrowed money, you know. Tomorrow you, you say you will not be full and nice. Look at this one, Islamic Development Bank. They borrowed from that one, you know. Why wouldn't they have a power over you? Why wouldn't they attack uh, uh, Bishop Kuka? When Bishop Kuka gave his, um, uh, 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 his uh, Christmas uh, message, it's a Christmas message he gave, not knowing that he, he is eating, even his church, the, the, the offering and tithe he's receiving in that church, uh, is the money they borrowed because some of his excellency attend his churches, you know, they are member of his uh, diocese and the parish and all those things, you know, not knowing that the money is the money they borrowed from, um, um, from um, um, Islamic Development Bank. And he come out and talk, you know, just like when they attack the bishop in um, in Osaka, Bishop Geoffrey, owner, you know, a very good man, you know, he, because the, the Sultan of Sokoto reacted, asked the police to arrest him, arrest that our bishop, you know, because he did not remember that his own uh, um, um, that, that, that he, the money he's eating and even that cathedral he constructed, because his excellency also gives some support, the local government chairman gives some support um, what's their name, ministers and whatever, they will give that, that is why you see the churches don't attack, you you know all this a politician because they give then not knowing that this money is being borrowed from the um, islamic development bank 
you know and most of the time when they give money to zoological republic they don't ask for interest or high interest like other other ones then you want to come and attack their fulanization you know and then you need to understand what is going on in the zoological republic so this all this um financial institution being mentioned here i hope you remember that there is one called the arab bank for economic and development uh, in africa arab bank and develop um for economic and development uh, in Africa. This one is Arab in Africa. And uh, tomorrow you are talking about the inscription of Arabic uh, writing in your in your currency. You are talking about it. Whereby you are owing the, con the, 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 the institution of the Arab $298.12 million. Where will you get the money? Why won't they inscribe Arab? They are supposed to write Arab in your currency. Arab supposed to be in your currency and also in your military uniform to tell you the, the, the source of your uh, of your life. Let's put it in that way, you know. It, so sometimes when we are talking, we don't understand. You have been sold for a very long time. Babangida registered Zoological Republic of Nigeria into OIC. Some of our daddy geos and um, uh, bishops and whatever we are aware, but because they believe in building cathedrals and building ultra-modern structures of church they call their own and when they will do launching when they will do launching you know that these people will come and put money to them because the, the government is afraid of the church if the church is genuine people don't know this thing the government the state is afraid of the church because the state knows the power in population they know that the church can arrange people religious leader can have number of people so they first of all corrupt them they first of all corrupt them because if they are not corrupt uh, they can stand in the pulpit say something sacrifice their life and you see there will be revolution all over you know but because they have been polluted they can't talk they have eaten and when you are corrupt you don't want to die you would like to live and enjoy that uh, process you get from corruption but when you have rejected this word you know you will die for your soul to go and rest wherever good souls are, go are resting you know those kind of things you know so um they will they, 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 they will not talk they have already given them money they have already given them money so they build the church and they won't be able to do what to talk uh, when things are going wrong so the government knows that and they start corrupting the religious uh, leader if you are not aware that is why they can't talk anymore let's continue nigeria has also owned five countries china france japan india and germany 4.07 uh, million dollars according to uh, 12 point seven percent of the nation extra debt zoo is owing this country these five countries now heavily heavily after borrowing from um, after borrowing money after the zoological republic of nigeria has borrowed money from all these financial institutions there is no any top 10 financial institution in the world now that the zoo have not borrowed money so after eating those way, those areas they know they have closed their road is closed they can't give more based on the foreign reserve they have because they are giving you that money based on your foreign reserve you know they know that the foreign reserve is done now giving you it's just like a, it's just like now if for this institution to go and give zoo money again it's just like now you are a businessman of uh, 20 million naira 30 million 100 million and you see somebody in his shop who don't have a goose up to up to up to 1 million in his shop and you want to release goose of 20 million to that person you know you want to release cash of 20 million or goose of 20 million you know you know you are taking risk this person don't work up to 1 million you are pumping 20 million on top of him but if the person has a, a land somewhere you know that worth up to 50 million you say no problem even give him more goose of 30 million because you know that there is something this is how it is now so after that what is the zoo doing now zoo start meeting countries you know meeting countries and they have been borrowed from top top country the other time that is why you heard that they went to brazil 
they went to Brazil to borrow. It's like they have after eating that of Brazil is finished, they have checked other African countries and then um, you know sometimes in life you will have this kind of um, neighbor. There are neighbor that poverty have made them they become shameless shameless to the extent that they will come out in the you know this face me and face you yet if you don't leave them the man will come just knock for your door say pom 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 you open the say beggar you get soup give me soups more you know he will give you plate you give him soup soup then he go go house he go knock for the other person say beg you get small guy he make i just took it now so he go beg the whole people for that compound you know zoo is just like that you know sometimes when he knock and they hear his voice they won't open the door again so zoo can't be able because we were hearing that time that there are some African countries they want to go and borrow money, you know. This country have seen zoo like that kind of neighbor, so they didn't. Now they now return back home to be looking into some uh, accounts. <laughs> Zoological report. I tell you that the zoo has finished. Nigeria is gone, it's gone forever. Come on, the thing is that your brain is dead. Your brain is very low, it's shallow, it's dimming. It cannot process things. You will just be there until that thing happens before you understand. What the zoo is doing is to meet the, the, the institutions, the financial institutions, the banks in the Nigerian to see some domicile account. This is is it how a country will survive? <laughs> you know, maybe if your account has been uh, dormant for the past five years, three years, ten years, they believe um, that um, you are dead, you know, or you run to exile, you cannot return back or whatever, then the government will just, you know, scrap the whole money and use it for, to do what? It's just like you are hungry now. This one is just like you are hungry and you take to speak. Now you try to remove some certain things in your teeth. Maybe you put it, you see the meat you chop yesterday night and they've come out. You want to eat that meat to satisfy your hunger. It no go work. <laughs> it no go work. This is what the zoo is trying to do for itself to survive. This is what they do. And you know that the system is corrupt. Bankers love this kind of thing. Bank managers, wow! That is what they want, you know? Because they will be the one that will help the zoo. Everything is corrupt, you know? Every, it's just like a wayward woman with um, a wayward man, you know? You are a wayward wife and you see a man who is another wayward. You know, it's very easy for them to do the thing in the secret and return, you know, back to their business, you know, that kind of thing. So, the they, 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 uh, financial institution in the zoo is corrupt. Corrupt. The government also is corrupt. So there will be the one that will suggest it for the zoo. Tell the zoo, how are we going to do this? On the process, they know the percentage they will cut away because they are the one that will tell the government the amount that remain. Maybe you have 3 million, 5 million or whatever. They can cut off 1.5 and give government 1.5. Before you know it, your money is gone. This is where the zoo is relying now. Nothing left. Oil is not booming. You hear how the Lai Mohammed crying the other time that during the time of Jonathan, oil was able to sell to be sold at one hundred and forty uh, uh, dollar per barrel. But since they took over, it, it, it has never uh, exceeded the sixty dollar. Then plus pandemic or pandemic obligate demic, you know, it now hit it hit the something very hard at the time during the first wave of the coronavirus. Zoo was even paying money for the vessels that carried their oil in the high sea because everywhere we are locked down zoo we are paying <laughs> the zoological republic has come to an end brother that is what we are trying to analyze to you for more understanding because some of us is very rare the love you have for this zoological republic you can't be able to agree that indeed the zoological republic of nigeria can come to an end that is why we, we took our time to you know to analyze some certain things for you you know so that is it let's continue with the so these are the five countries now these are the five countries that the zoo have borrowed money before they now return back to the country to to search you know maybe at the at the end of the day if no place to borrow money they start selling human beings you know alive engage in the modern slavery you know <laughs> because they are going to sell some portion of the land give it away and if they will sell i would suggest for them they start with bruno state 
If they can hand over China, Bruno, you know, say China, they have Bruno, they pull, you know, push away, what's his name, uh, Baba Gana Zonum, push him away, sell Bruno State to China, you know, I'm telling you, if they do it before 2023, you will be begging for visa to go to that Bruno State, because one thing is that China will scrap away every bocos there and make that place like heaven again, because they have the brain to do that, but we, we don't have the brain. So they start selling the, po these are the things that will happen, these are the things that will happen because these people are monsters that are eating their young. They are monsters that are eating their young. If an evil politician would destroy their own people to rise up, is it Fulani? Ah, you need to understand what is coming for you. Let's continue with this news. According to the report, this includes a $3.26 million to, uh, to the Export and in Import Bank of China. Agency franchise development 200 502 million dollars japan international corporation these are the money they collected from the banks there japan international money corporation agency 78.2.20 million dollars hmm? these are the money uh, um Exim bank of india 37 million dollars you know these are the monies they collected and the Kedrita Transit for uh, $197.26 million. This news is from the cable. If you go to cable, you'll see it. That is where I'm reading it. I'm not making it up myself. The only thing is that um, I am trying to do what? I am trying to to do what to help you for more understanding i am trying to help you for more understanding that's all that's all my dear brother you see that the zoo is finished the zoo is finished zoological republic of nigeria is finished and uh, there is no two ways about it nothing will help the zoo again nothing will help the zoo again nothing at all I will be right back in a moment. I'll be right back.
Radio Biafra House Service 2 coming to you from the platform of Radio Biafra London under the leadership of one and only Onion Du Mazinam the Kano or Madike one of Biafra Land. Our leader Mazinam the Kano is the only incorruptible leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. He's the director of Radio Biafra and her television. He's the commander of the army of Biafra. And this broadcast is coming to you from me, a servant of the Most High, a servant of the indigenous people of Biafra, and a proud disciple of our leader in the person of Wachineke. We are here to make sure that zoo is being destroyed. And it will not rest in peace. So when the zoo goes down, it's not going to rest in peace. We have seen the depths. These people articulated, the cable news articulated this news, uh, this depths upon the Zoological Republic within uh, uh, September, within 2020. It's quite obvious for us that uh, how much where was it on, on zoo before uh, uh, Buhari came in? It's less than 30 billion. But as at that time, zoo has about uh, 50 something billion as reserve. Why they are owing this 30, uh, less than 30 billion. But today now, how much is the total amount that the Zoological Republic of Nigeria is owing? That is the question you're supposed to be asking from time to time for you to know what is happening in your so-called beloved country. For you to know what is happening. How much are they owing? The zoo now is, is almost, you know, I use approximately, approximately 100 billion dollars and who made it in this way general muhammad buhari in less than five years in the office in less than five years in the office this administration this dead man ruling this dead man administration ruling the zoo has incurred a debt of not uh, approximately 100 billion dollars and the foreign reserve has gone completely nothing again, nothing as collateral to be using to be collecting money. So now they are going to use your head. What is the consequences? That is what you're supposed to be asking so that you know. That is why they, will, they can come in and force vaccination into you. Do you whatever you are because you have been sold. They can decide anything in their meeting up there in the western whatever nonsense they are doing because your country have already submitted to anything. Anything. There is an adage in Igbo language that time. They said they are going for meeting and the fowl, the chicken you know, says that um, whatever they agreed on, that he agreed with them. He refused to attend the meeting. Reaching there, every animals are present. Only chicken that is not available. They say, okay, we will be using chicken for sacrifice. 
Be everybody have to agree. They say no, we have to hear from chicken. Somebody raise up his voice and say that chicken said whatever you people agree here, I have agreed with them. I agree. So they sell it. And that is why chicken is being used for sacrifice. It's an adage, you know, in Igbo language. Because your country have sold themselves, sold you, they can decide anything, they can make the vaccination mandatory. As Bill Gates is taking over now, because it is them that are taking over the United States of America, Joe Biden is nobody. These people pack them. If it is Joe Biden alone, he can't even fight as Donald Trump has fought to this level. You know, Biden is a dead man. He's, 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 that Biden is nothing left in him. It's just like you see Obama talking. People, the main people, the real men are behind them. You understand? So, you, I'm telling you the consequences now. From any angle it will come. They can they can sell you. You can be sold. Whatever they concluded, you can be sold. You can be treated anyhow abroad, wherever you are. Neglect you. Don't expect, say, your human right. Your human right is nonsense. Human right only works when it comes to negative things. Not human, not really human life. Human rights don't fight for human life. It only works. For let's say now, you, a, a country that, um, uh, let's say there was a time, uh, the, is it in Uganda or whatever, they killed somebody, a group of people, they said that they, 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 these are men, they were um, uh, doing, it. they caught them in homosexual and people killed them, roasted them alive, you know, all those kind of um, uh, jungle justice. Then that is the area you see human life, human right uh, activists to come out and tell you this is their human right, you know. But there will, the, the so-called human right will see you, maybe as an IPOB, as a Dudu one man, as a zoologian, protesting against the, 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 the bad govern, uh, government, you know, the bad governance of the uh, country. And they shot you, they won't talk on those areas, you know, they won't talk on those areas. They will just allow you to, 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 to die like that. But if it is all those nonsense, you know, uh -huh, they will act, uh, the activists will be active on that area. So what I'm trying to let you know is that uh, the consequence that will be falling upon you as your country have sold you unexpectedly through the Fulanese. You can they can molest you any kind of anything, any kind of thing can, they can come upon you, you know. You can be there could be a decision today that your country will be there will be a compulsory uh, vaccination, whether being tested or not, whether it's killing people, it's not killing people, then they will inject you all manner of nonsense and you will die. They can you know portion out a particular land, a portion of of your land and sell it to the people they are owing they, just as china is doing china itself will come and manage anything they will choose whatever they want to manage and the number of years they will manage it to regain the money back because all this money you see that have been borrowed where is it is it the trend that jonathan started reconstructing before buhari take over that they finish now the train that they come their corruption could not let them to finish it the way jonathan wanted to be the train is, is spoiling the one of kaduna uh, uh kaduna abuja is it the one that will give you from there you tell me what is it that they use this money to do that you generate income to pay back in the next 40 years in the next 50 years none do you know what is 90 something billion about 96 or 97 billion dollars is what your country is owing that's why i say approximately this is the capital money not the interest that will be coming upon it from time to time not the interest because a uh, financial institution like imf is very dangerous imf is like you go to you go to shrine to to collect money you go to collect shrine money, you know, you to do your business. You know, go work, it go frustrate you, something of that nature. You know, in Igbo language, we'll say gago. That is how IMF loan is like. Even the Western people don't even take the loan because they know the implication, how it's going to hit their economy. But that is where the full and zoological republic will rush and be collecting charges because they know that you from the beer France and your land could be so that they can sell you off because they are your master, your slave master. They are your slave master. That is why they are doing all these things to you. But as a result, because your heart has been full of evil, uh, 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 your heart is full of evil, your, 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 what, what do we call it, um, 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 your, your envy, your jealousy, 
won't let you to see good, then you will take all the whole hair thread. Either you put it on Nam the Kano, uh, IPOB, Biafra of a thing. But look at what somebody is doing you at the federal level. And when they gather this money, they will share it from the House of Assembly down to your government. Everybody will take their own. And nothing is happening. You cannot find anything good in your own so-called states. And somebody somewhere is lamenting, shouting for you to help you, telling you the danger. You are calling the person hell speech. He's causing war. You want to look at where you are today. Where will you escape to? Where will you escape to your so-called beloved Zoological Republic of Nigeria is owing approximately 100 billion. Where will they get the money? Oil price is going down. Hoping on oil cannot help you. If it is, if things are going to change like 10 years ago, 15 years ago, I will tell you no problem, no problem, because the world needed the oil, and the oil of the Zoological Republic is one uh, is among the top five, the best uh, oil in the whole world. I'm top five because zoological oil has no oil. People don't know that. It has no oil. If you buy 20 barrels and refine it, you will get the quantity you needed. But some other people like the Saudi oil and whatever, those ones have oil. That's what we call oil in chemistry. You know, when a substance inside a particular substance that will that is not part of that family, you know, so you have to extract it. On the process of extracting it, you are reducing the, the, the product, you know. It's just like uh, you bring out your rice and there is sand. You are trying to remove those sand, you know. As you are removing those sand, you know, some part of rice is going out. Uh, those sand is as oil in chemistry, you know. So zoologian oil don't have all so people like it so much and they are buying that is why the whole world we are so interested in it if you buy one gallon you will definitely going to get what uh, you bought for you know not like other ones but now the price is going down the people is moving from chemical to data they are moving from natural to natural world we keep on telling you this thing. That is the level the world is going. That is why you need to be vaccinated, inject chip inside you, then have a 5G network that will be powering you very well. You become very strong. You become like King Kong. You become Hong Kong and you become robot. You know, you be <laughs> that is what they <laughs> that is the world we are moving into. So your oil is no more valid. Oil is no more valid. So you can't be able to pay this bill. Nigeria has ended. Do you know why we are shouting, telling you all these things? The earlier could be the better for you. We know that it's, it's getting out of hand, but earlier could be better for some of you. So that because next year they, are, they will look for another place. If anybody agrees to borrow, I'm telling you, Lion Mohammed and the Buratai and the whoever, the, the Kabas, they are ready to go and borrow money. They are ready to go and borrow money from those people. If anybody, any country will agree to give them money, they are ready to do what? To go and borrow from them. So that it will not be too much. Because definitely you will pay, not you even, because you are dying already, you could die tomorrow on road accident. I'm talking of your child and your grandchild. Imagine, there is a kind of suffering the guy will suffer at a certain time. He start cursing his grandfather, start cursing as we are cursing Zeke, wherever Zeke is now. Zeke cannot rest in peace, you know. As a result of the cursing we are throwing upon him, wherever the, the, the useless soul is. Because he put us into this mess. If he really loved us as his grand, grand grandchildren, he would have think of something good for us as at that time when he was signing the, uh, 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 what do they call it, NCNC or whatever, that Mbono Jacob warned him of the thing. But because of Amina, because of Aisha, because of Khadija, you know, so my dear brothers, this is what we are shouting day and night, trying to let you to understand the danger behind us. Danger behind us. This is some of the consequences that will come. Nothing this time now, some salaries will be cut off. How this thing we are telling you now, salaries will be things like pension. 
pension will go off now. They'll forget about pension. You know, they forget about pension. Your 18,000 minimum wage or 20,000 minimum wage could be reduced. Maybe they will, what they will be doing is to emerge, instead of you to work for 30 days for one month, you can work for 90 days for one month. Maybe by the time you work for 90 days, then they give you uh, 18,000 naira. Then you go and eat. Then they will margin months. You know, as a solution, don't match banks together, you know. Uh, you know, uh -huh. Somebody can come and give the idea. They will clap for them. Say it's an e e e e economist, economical guru. You match three months together. <laughs> then you work for 90 days. After working for 90 days, they will give you one month a salary. If you want, you take the job. If you don't want... After all, somebody, some people are working in Cross River for two years. Magistrates for that too, for that matter. How much more you that is uh, just uh, uh, level 5 or level 10 in the local government, you know? In the local government, let's local government, we are Okebeke is taking care. Okebeke will tell you that he bought the, the seat by himself. So don't. If you want to work, you work. If you don't want, you get out. Short and simple, you know? So these are the things that are going to be falling you gradually. More debt will be you know turning up things because no way again are you talking of agriculture that would have helped agriculture would have helped very well but you see that the hands of satan is in what they are doing they are working hand in hand with satan so satan has already released uh, demonic angels from sahel to infiltrate the entire bush entire forest of the northern zoological area the area you people believe that they are the only one who can farm and feed the nation or feed the country you know so satan understand this thing they now release uh, the hell they now release the uh, demons from hell and all of them are there nobody can go and farm again you see how you are going down bit, bit by bit bit by bit so nothing will save you again the only little natural uh, survive natural things that can survive you may help you to survive is your agriculture but satan knows that because satan is what they're watching uh, they are working for they now release the bandits the herdsmen they started with herdsmen how can somebody you know cultivate his crops and everything and somebody will take cow and see a, a farm that somebody cultivated and put his cow there the cow will use his leg to scatter everything and eat the little leaves that the something you're supposed to know that this thing is coming from the pit of hell you know people have been battling that one battling that one thinking that that is it no it's called cat fl uh, flying they they just use it to check whether what is going to happen if they release the main event they now see that people are not going to react they now open the gate of hell as they open the gate of hell the demon from sahel now infiltrate the entire forest in the zoological republic you can't go to farm anymore so this is how you are going to die you might even be eating yourself in the zoological republic we are telling you what will come because you, you may not believe it you say god forbid this yeah the same way you say god forbid when hesmen we are coming much more when boko haram we are coming look at them now they're everywhere doing so the same thing you it will happen if you don't do anything what is that thing disintegration of the zoological republic of nigeria to end it now it could be better you could die but your children will survive but there is a level it will reach both you and your children and your generation will go and go completely which is not good that is why we are here doing what we are doing Because we must continue to press on. We will not be alive, watch our own people to die. We will not be alive, watch our own people to die. That is the news from um, Cable News, you know. Uh, we'll also take one more news before we we'll go for Hausa News. Because I want to take time to discuss this issue of uh, finance, uh, economical situation of the zoo to you for you to see the kind of money you are the kind of debt you are into so that you can come out and be you see white person maybe you people are playing football you want to compare yourself with them you want to compare yourself with them to have a war right with them it will not work it's not going to work it's not going to work because already you have been sold each time you are moving whether you are in europe whether you are in america you are in asia even in africa see yourself as a slave 
you know that you are a slave you are third class citizen of this planet Earth because the government of uh, general let general muhammad Fula, uh, muhammad buhari of the fulanese have already sold you and the courtesy of your own political echelon that is why when you see all this is yes you're the only people get my map i don't know why when i see both politicians only i begin to i become angry because what i'm suffering he was there he saw it even before me i don't know they planned it inside the inner carcass before it began to mash out out and i could see it get rid my boy i am stop repeating things you are dying you are dying you are dying. All the whole thing you see Devil Mai was just doing is just for him to sit in the seat of the presidency, either as a puppet or as a vice president puppet, he come 2020. And because of that, he can sacrifice any... That's all. Not that he's going to repair you. Not that he's going to make things good for you or whatever. Rocha Sokrocha could do all the whole hell he did just because he wants to sit there and answer the name. That is the first Igbo man to rule the, the zoological republic. He is the first Igbo man to rule. That these are the things they want. These are the things they want to answer. You need to catch the game very well. So when you see these people, you buzo, bupu topo, bupu topo, bupu topo. You know, you remove them. Stop being afraid of what are you, you have been diplomatic, diplomatic, follow it, political correctness, and cancer is eating you, swallowing you gradually. If you watch Natural Geography, you see where Python is swallowing a big, uh, another beast, you know, gradually, both the tail, everything will be entering into the belly of this beast, you know, that is how you are just going, gradually, and you are believing you, even if you vomit you, you have already, you know, passed the venom you can't survive it the earlier the better let's take this news also this one is going to the northern zoological republic of nigeria he said we spent our christmas burying b-u-r-y-i-n-g burying uh youths killed by Boko haram chibok leader tells buhari Chibox leader tells Buhari that on Christmas time they were busy burying their own young youths and their pastor. You know, these are Christian in Medugri, and I'm sure these people during the time of Jonathan uh, election and the Buhari, because everybody supported that is why Christians need to be punished more and more in the zoo as a result of what they did to John. I'm not supporting Jonathan because Jonathan is spineless. Jonathan, but Jonathan is just that God, whenever you see the hand of God working in things, you don't need to disturb that thing because it is natural, it is the most high that put that thing there to be jonathan was sent by god for a particular purpose so you truncated something god then god will tell you that if you avert this if you remove this this is what is coming then you say you can then you have it you know so they could be part of it you know they could be part of it that time because they're in in, in Bruno state they will support their own flanese to even though they are christians to do their bidding now jonathan is off jonathan cannot fight you know jonathan is off that is why they are paying all these things are coming upon them you know so uh, let's take one or two sentences here all this their epistle is not what we are going to read but you know, the analysis is what you needed mostly for more understanding because our brain is dead our brain cannot process a lot of things you know and uh, that they, these people mostly nigerian journalists know it very well they will try to put you in a long epistle writings and uh, all manner of grammar even they will speak english that the english people cannot even understand just to trick their own people just to deceive their own people uh, zoologians zoologians will study english to the extent that they would defeat the englishman with his english language it's just as i'm an Igbo man somebody go to study Igbo in order to use Igbo to trick me you don't know that the person has gone very deeper that is zoologians our people ah huh? mostly the the, the 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 press because they are evil journalists is evil all of them are evil a leader in chibo community bruno state dr menasa allen has lamented how residents of the community on christmas day buried young men and a pastor killed by boko haram terrorists during an attack on pemi and the Ukwada area in chibok local government area of the state allen 
who is also the media director of the Kibaku Area Development Union, an umbrella body of the Chibok community, asked President Muhammad Buhari to ensure the security was given the right attention. This man is crying. If you see the picture, you see that they are dead bodies, they are young youth, they are pastors, you know, being buried. These Boko Haram purposely targeted them on the eve of their Christmas and eliminated them, use it to celebrate Christmas for them. The government is aware of this thing, knows that these Boko Haram normally are target this kind of people on so 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 day, but they didn't. They w instead of them to rejoice in their festival, they believe rather they were mourning. And all these things are consequences of the sin they have done. You will reap what you sow, whether you like it or not. Think of it so that when you'll be doing it, it's just like this big mistake now that is going on in the United States of America. Everybody's writing Joe Biden, Joe Biden, Joe Biden. Joe. Hey, Joe Biden. <laughs> when the pen go come, all these evil people ganged up together to support. My way of life is that whenever I see vultures gathered, I don't follow that way. I know that something is wrong there. You see, as they gang up, everybody is just this idiot. Man is an idiot, you know. Just support him. And when the pen will come now, you know, we will be talking as well, definitely. We will be talking because because we speak, the grace of the Most High will cover us. That is certain, you know. The same way we were writing on Facebook that time, shouting about the Jonathan of thing. That is why if I see you being, I will only broadcast it, you know. Tell the people that you are dead. That is the only thing I can do for you so that nature itself will bear me with. But as for the death, you will go down because you supported the evil. You will walk against the finger of God. The only grace given to you, you throw it away. You throw it away. Jonathan is spineless telling you that the blood of this, this is nonsense. Those Boko Haram you were killing with soldiers, are they not uh, Nigerians that time? What are you talking nonsense, claiming political correctness and whatever? What those things are nonsense to me? If you see evil, you fight evil. That's all. Doesn't matter who the ox is called. So these people in Chibok buried their young and their pastor on Christmas Day, courtesy of the Boko Haram, and the government of their so-called beloved the late Jannah Muhammad Buhari knows that this kind of atrocity always happened towards this time, but they did not supply the enough necessary securities for them to be secured. And they stupidly stayed there and be waiting and this thing still happened to them. They would have rushed to Medjugorje and stay. After Christmas, they returned back because it's supposed to be expected. This is not the first time history repeats itself if you don't do anything the same thing that happened will still come back and happen to you and that is what is happening so the man is uh, lamenting uh, uh, um, Dr. Dr. Menasa Allen is lamenting your lamentation cannot zoo is stop talking all those things to zoo government they don't care it's just to talk so that people will hear the terrorist has attacked Femi and Okwada area in the Chibok local government area two Sundays ago shortly after attacking Sabongeri town in Damboa local government area. They will attack and keep on attacking. That is the Chibok area where they abducted those number of girls uh, some time ago as they used it to play politics. A lot of people died. The attack reportedly led to the death of a woman and the burning of several houses, including uh, those of two young brothers of the chairman of the Christian Association of uh, Nigeria in Michigan local government area of Adamawa State, the late Reverend Lawan and Dini. Hey, this man, even after he's died, his own people are still dying. Maybe they live at Adamawa and they're staying in uh, Bruno State. You see? Evil is evil. Stop it wherever you are. Evil is evil. Fight against it. So the man, a lot of things they wrote here is the, the news that you have had, how people have been killed, churches have been born, houses have been born, destroying properties, you know, there is no peace in the northeast, northeast, the zoological republic of Nigeria has been spending billions of billions to make sure it's been placed, nothing is working, what are you getting from Bruno State, nothing, it's only fly, if you go there, EGG fly, EGG will not let you eat food, EGG will be everywhere, fly, don't know what they but you see some of our people will still love it just 
May God help us. But we will continue to fight. One thing I know is that in as much as our leader, Mazin Namdi Kano, is alive, we will press and make sure that Biafra comes so that we'll save those we can save. If not, just forget about it. This